In a vibrant celebration of community health and well-being, the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund, ICDF, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, hosted a Community Health Day and Family Fund Day at the Greece Playing Field. The event, which drew residents from Greece and surrounding communities, was a full day dedicated to promoting wellness, providing essential health screenings, and sharing vital information on healthy living practices. Wellness products, along with hygiene supplies, were also distributed to attendees, helping to reinforce the health messages shared throughout the day. During his address, the Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabaptis, emphasized the government's ongoing commitments to enhance the quality, accessibility and delivery of healthcare services across the island. We are here with the support of the Taiwanese government and all of the officials of the ministry to bring education to another part of St. Lucia. We have been doing it throughout St. Lucia. We are here at Grace today and we are going to be in other parts of Viewfort North and other parts of St. Lucia. We continue to focus on what we call our universal health coverage program. We continue to focus on improvements at our health and wellness centers. So our nurses are doing continuous training to ensure that we improve the conditions. John Lin, project coordinator of the Taiwan Technical Mission, emphasized the importance of collaboration between the mission and various departments within the Ministry of Health to effectively deliver crucial health services and information to the community. Sedusha have a burden of diabetes hypertension, so we integrate the health screening for the residents to bring them what's the real blood pressure, blood sugar over their situation bring the awareness on these diseases because we believe that only through the vital sign checkup screening can know your number to know how about their health situation to raise awareness to do the prevention of diseases. Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, Director for Universal Health Coverage, UHC, expressed her gratitude for the opportunity to engage with community members and share crucial information about universal health coverage. Coming to this fund and, and health fair is a form of community sensitization because then it allows persons, especially today a Sunday afternoon, persons tend to be at home relaxing and they can come in the community, they come out, their children, the older individuals, all different age ranges and they come to the different booths. I'm happy that they came to the Universal Health Coverage booth because there we can talk about what we have already offered, what we already started offering under Universal Health Coverage. We started with maternal and child health, which we started back then in June of last year. One resident expressed his appreciation for the health services provided and the opportunity to gain greater insight into his personal well-being. In my community, um, we don't really have these kind of, kinds of activities, sorry. So I was really excited when I heard about it. So I say I'm going to take, the adva take advantage of it. And uh, nowadays, everybody is sick, to be honest. Everybody is sick. So just having this is just, you know, brightening up the community. We've always been going on, all that is going on. It's just something that is great. I've been having fun, enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to more activities like this for sure. The health fair also saw an infusion of family-oriented activities, ensuring that wellness and healthy living messages were passed on in an engaging and interactive manner. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Unika McCoy.